Well, hey everyone, I'm Shreesh and welcome back to my channel. Well, have you ever thought of being a doctor? But it looks too risky or uncertain to become a doctor because of high competition. Do you love biology and other science subjects, but unsure to pursue a medicine degree? Well, today I have a very special career in medical field that is in high demand. And you don't need to be a doctor to be in a medical line. Well, this career is something you can absolutely pursue. And this career has a great work-life balance as opposed to most doctor roles. And this career is about pharmacy. Well, and yes, I know it could be really confusing on selecting the right career for yourself. And a lot of people struggle with it, but you don't have to. Well, I have created a super powerful workbook for you based on my very special 4D career development model that can literally save you a ton of hours and most importantly, will save you from a lot of stress. It's one guide you must have for your career development. And you can download this guide for absolutely free by clicking on the link in the description box. For this video, well, I think we can all agree that at some point in our lives, we all fall sick. And whether or not we need a doctor, a medicine is something we all need at that point. Pharmacists are the middlemen between you and your medication, succeeding in their role by providing information about different treatments. They're not just knowledgeable, but also friendly. And there is so much more to this career than this. So today we're going to discuss more on one such core. Let's hit it up for pharmacy. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta, and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges, and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. Pharmacy is an integral part of the healthcare industry. It caters to the preparation and dispensing of medicines that are required to treat a patient. Well, let's get to the first things first. While most people think that by doing a course in pharmacy, the aspirants can work only in chemist shops, medical stores, or dispensaries, well, there is more to the career to this. You are not limited to chemist shops or medical stores. You can work in clinical research and development, medical drug quality control and analysis, medical drug production and manufacturing, pharmaceutical sales and marketing, pharmaceutical education, drug control, and inspector under regulatory bodies like CD, SCO, FDA, etc. With everything in perspective, a career in pharmacy is promising option for those looking to be in part of the medical industry, along with having the option of lucrative work-life balance, yes. But what really pharmacy is? Well, the science of preparing and dispensing medical drugs is called pharmacy. A licensed healthcare professional who specializes in providing information about different medication to patients, the word pharmaceuticals refer not just how they act or our body, but also their properties, what makes one type better than another. There's plenty more that goes into this fascinating field. Pharmacy is the clinical health science that links medical science with chemistry and control of medications and drugs. The practice of pharmacy requires excellent knowledge of drugs, their mechanism of action, side effects, interaction, mobility and toxicity, and in discovery, production and disposal, as well as safe use control for medication. Well, let's explore more about this career, future scope, salary offered, and companies hiring. The role of a pharmacist is very important in today's world. They study and keep track of all medicines and products with market service by connecting with a medical practitioner and distributors for any side effects, reactions, and allergies, etc. Pharmacy basically includes everything related to your wellness, right from the food you consume to cosmetics, lifestyle products, health and chemical products that you use. So let's look into the importance and benefits of choosing pharmacy as your career. There are many benefits of this education field. First is treat and prevent disease. Well, there are many reasons why you might want to study pharmacy, but one of the most rewarding is that it can lead to a job where your skills will be used for treatment and prevention. Take COVID for example. The preparedness of the pharmacy industry and active research helps in fighting pandemics like these and reducing the overall adverse effect on overall world health. This means no matter where in society they go, whether at home or abroad, your knowledge for studying this degree will always come handy. Second is scientific research and development. If you want to become a pharmacist, there are many different opportunities for research and development at the workplace. This can open up more research and career paths that might interest you. University departments also recruit graduates from pharmacy schools so it's worth considering if this type of works fit with your interests. Third is promote world healthcare. Pharmacists are the gatekeepers of healthcare, using their expertise in medications to treat patients and collaborate with other professionals. 
They also promote population health by teaching how diseases work or what drugs can do for you. Manage pharmacy systems so that people get access when they need it most, even if it after hours. There are many benefits of working in the field like pharmacy. It's one of the core areas of world's jobs revolve around. You can benefit from studying pharmacy in many ways, like job stability. The skills you learn in pharmacy are extremely valuable, not just for your own job security, but also because they're required across the world and industries. In 2019, it was reported that 98% of the graduates were employed within the six months after graduating, which is amazing. The next one is flexible career options. The exciting world of pharmacy offers many opportunities to explore different career paths. You can qualify as a pharmacist, research scientist, or medical science license and have your own adventures in yeast studies. Well, access to different industries. The study of pharmacy is designed for those who want to work in health-related jobs. But many graduates go on to pursue business or sales career as well. So you have that flexibility. Also, it helps in bringing order to the activities of the world in terms of health and nutrition. Some of the common job roles you can get in the field of pharmacy right after graduation are drug inspector, pharmacist, pathological lab scientist, health inspector, chemical drug technician, medical device manufacturing, pharmaceutical marketing, and medical underwriter. Some of the major companies that hire these roles are Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, Cipla, Lupin, Zydus, Serum Institute, Apollo, and many more. And I'm sure you all have, must have heard about these names. When we talk about an average salary for a pharmacist's role these days in the job market, it is between 100,000 to 200,000 US dollars annually, which is excellent for almost everyone, which is about eight to 10 lakhs per year for entry level jobs in India. And then sky is the limit. Now that we know that there is a huge growth in pharmacy career, let's explore skills required and job responsibilities and an ideal workday in this profession. Well, as far as skills are concerned, you need the following few for sure. Well, technical skills. Laboratory techniques and equipment knowledge is really important. Analytical or scientific softwares, computer record system, record keeping software, medical software like Meditech, all these things are required. So technical skills are required. Then comes mathematical and science. Well, a degree in pharmacy incorporates math and science, specifically biology and chemistry. So if you have an interest or excel in these subjects, you will likely enjoy studying pharmacy at university. Also, you'll be able to develop your numeracy and problem solving skills to employ them in a practical way. Next come research skills. Knowledge of the information and techniques needed to diagnose and treat human injuries, diseases and deformities are important. This includes symptoms, treatment alternative, drug properties and interaction and preventive healthcare measures. Next is service orientation skills. Well, you must actively be looking for ways to help people for sure. Science skills. Well, you must be proficient while using scientific rules and methods to solve problems. Other basic skills can include monitoring and instructions, creative and logical thinking, teamwork, attention to details, writing reports, making presentations and others. Well, now let's talk about roles and responsibilities of a pharmacist. Main role of a pharmacist is having knowledge and understanding of day-to-day -day medications because you can always open up a pharmacy stores across the world. Another main responsibility of a pharmacist is to counsel patients in order to maximize the benefits of their medication and minimize side effects. Patients need professional counseling and they need to understand about the drug usage. Well, this includes telling them about any adverse reactions or interactions with food, drinks, alcohol, etc. As well as teaching how best to take doses on time, plus checking up afterwards so you can help your clients get back into shape. You also need administrative duties that are another area as, as pharmacist is provided to work for. As a manager or supervisor, you can spend more time on administrative duties than patient care to make sure everything runs smoothly for your team members and customers. Well, now let's look into most curious section on how to pursue this career with complete step-by-step -step roadmap for school students, college students, and professionals who wish to switch or enhance skills for better roles. Well, if you've just started exploring careers and this is one of the options, I recommend gaining some knowledge of the subject through online videos or online research. But I always say at the beginning of your career, research is a very important in making decisions. Now, if you're a high school, you can approach this career in two different ways. Either take up an undergraduate college degree direct in pharmacy, which is B Pharma, or any other medical subject speciality like chemistry or biology. You must take biology and chemistry in your school to be eligible for pharmacy courses. You can also start by exploring a couple of month long introductory courses in online platforms like Coursera, edX and all. And I have attached few links for your reference. 
And as I always say, along with it, make sure to keep an eye on the recent developments in the field through news and regular blogs and follow along the advice that I'm about to talk for the college students. Well, if you're already pursuing your undergraduate degree in related field of chemistry or biology or other healthcare areas, you can absolutely pursue a master's degree in pharmacy. Yes, the field has no restriction in graduate studies as long as it covers basic medical knowledge required to understand the information effortlessly. That will help you become an expert in this field. Well, if you're starting new and have no idea or no knowledge of this field, then take up again online classes on online platforms to build your knowledge and then move to your master's degree. Well, you need a license to practice pharmacy too in some areas. So there are exams specific to different countries to obtain for the same. Pharmacy can be studied in various formats across the world. Most common format is bachelor's and master's degree. In the US, to be a licensed pharmacist, you need to hold a degree in D-Pharma or in some cases as a specialization course. The course structure in college includes presentations, discussions, lab projects, research, drug usage, and a lot of other things. Given that it is one of the most popular fields at this time, a lot of universities are offering a lot of programs that can educate you to being in this industry. Some such universities that have world-class programs are Howard University, UNC Chapel Hill, Columbia University, Monash, UCL, Cambridge, University of Oxford, Johns Hopkins, University of Toronto, NUS, University of Pharmaceutical Sciences, ICT, and many more. Along with online courses or college degrees, the most important qualification, however, is experience in the medical sector. That's important. An internship or job will be great add-on for you. This will give you desired exposure and confidence to the future employers that you have practical experience in the market. For the ones who aren't sure whether you should pursue this career or not, I would recommend putting some time in between your graduation and post-graduation and get some experience with the hospital or pharmaceutical company before committing to post-grad. A job or internship can put things into perspective for you. Now for professionals. Pharmacists work closely with numerous labs across the country, including creative agencies, marketing personnel, researchers, and drug designing and development. And not only that, pharmacy skills can have many other roles as mentioned earlier as well. So if you're a professional and you wanna to move to this field, then I will advise you to start small. Try to take some courses to learn more about the field along with the possibility of doing a master's or even a second master's in pharmacy, where you can learn and apply the knowledge. Once you have enough confidence in the subject and command on the required skill, start applying for bigger roles. Well, in the end, if you are a person who has an interest in medicine and helping others, have interest in research and chemistry, then success as a pharmacist should come easily to you. And this could be the right career for you. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Really appreciate it. Please make sure to support my work by liking and sharing this video and also subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. Well, I will see you shortly with another amazing video on career, college admission and living extraordinary. Till then, this is Sharif signing off. Take care. Bye-bye.